I am bundled up to the max. It's so cold. <laughs> I can't believe I look like this. <laughs> this is giving British winter. I'm just going out for a quick errand. It's the first time I'm leaving the house today. I really like the shape of the leg though. Yeah, that would work with the heel. Very cool. Okay, thank you so much. Let me just backtrack there a little bit. The reason I went to pick out something from their store is because they're having an event tomorrow night at AKJP and they wanted to dress me for it. They kindly gifted me the trousers so I thought we could go through some outfits now so that I'm prepared for tomorrow. That I'm not umming and eyeing when I need to head out the house. Who is this prepared Lachelle? I don't know her. I'm just going to show you three outfits. Before I put them on, let me just show you the shape of these denims. You can see how they curve. And there's an interesting sort of seam over there at the bottom as well. And I just think that this chocolate brown is very cool. They also have an elastic waist at the back which is great if you are in between sizes if you're a girlie with like small waist big bum like majority of south africa <laughs> then these are going to be great for you this is not a contender for tomorrow but i do think this is a pretty cool outfit for when i want something a little bit more casual like dinner drinks in winter i think these are really cool the barrel leg just adds a level of interest to this outfit so it's not just like boring and i'm leaning more towards an oversized element on top not because i'm trying to hide or hide my curves in the same breath i don't have to accentuate my curves all of the time sometimes i can just wear something oversized and chill and not feel like my body needs to be on show 100 of the time that's just what i'm leaning into at the moment i thought i would need to have these taken up turns out i don't they fit really well so it goes down on the sides so it's longer on the outside and then on the inside it comes up a little bit more which is obviously how they've managed to create that barrel leg shape this is not one of the outfits so let me show you that it's option one this was the initial outfit i thought of when i put on these pants because i feel like it kind of leans into that oversized element because this is like this top doesn't touch anything it also has a little bit more of a feminine touch i think these are a little bit more masculine but i do quite like this my only worry is that i'm gonna get cold tomorrow this is not gonna keep me warm and then anything i put over the top just covers what's happening here and is a bit boring for outfit two some people some people as me might look at this and be like this is boring but on further inspection i feel like it's really classic with just an interesting silhouette on the bottoms i feel like these jeans really bring in an interest to this outfit that wouldn't be there with a normal straight leg pair of denims although that's also still very classic I'm trying to wrap my mind around the fact that I don't have to have color and print to make an interesting outfit. It can be interesting with the silhouette. So I quite like this. Again, keeping the same country road boots, H&M blazer, and poetry classic cotton white tee. Again, I haven't tucked it. I've literally just left it out. The Gen Z girlies would be so proud. I think the oversized vibe here in terms of the big barrel leg trousers plus the oversized blazer really works. Also the interest with the square toe of the boot. So the goal with this is to show all the different layers. So we've got the blazer layer and then the coat over the top but I want both of them to show and I think the interest with the different tones and then I could add my verse bag. I like all the different elements. I'm initially being very skeptical about it. I'm liking this. This was a last minute sub in. I forgot that I had this in the dregs of like my winter wardrobe that I haven't pulled out yet. This is a Hannah Lavery. I think it was their below knit. I might be wrong on that. I think this adds such a cool vibe. It goes up a little bit more in the back, which I think is quite nice. Honestly, I think this is the most comfortable option for me. I think the fit of this knit is quite cool. Basically just like one long piece and then it's got armholes. I like the way it falls naturally. AKJP is always filled <laughs> with really cool people and I don't consider myself a cool person, but I am my level of cool. <laughs> which sounds terrible to say out loud but this is my level of cool i'm not gonna do a big white shirt and then a waistcoat underneath because i would look like a cater waiter nabila on the other hand does not look like a cater waiter 
when she wears that. <laughs> it looks really cool. Some of us can pull it off and some of us, me, cannot. So this is my version of like a cool girl outfit for AKJP. This is a strong contender. I was very solidly leaning towards outfit number two, but I really do like this. This is a vibe. I quite like this mic because it means I don't have to speak loudly and risk my neighbors hearing me speak. Because for some reason, there's a very special breed of embarrassment that goes along with being a content creator. If you're not a Gen Z, they do not care what people think of them in the best way. They'll take output photos and videos in and around the city in busy areas and they're completely unfazed. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little outfit segment. I'm going to change out of these jeans and I'm going to put on my track pants and edit. Okay, we'll chat later. How gorgeous is this brown nail polish? I'm obsessed with it. I'll link it in the description for you guys if you want to use it. Just a reminder, I obviously do the Biosculpture bases, but then this is a gelish color. Huh. It's perfection. Huh? How cool? <laughs> Did it when did I say this? Did it this week, didn't I? We were making dinner. Stop it. It is Friday morning. The weekend. It's starting to clear a little bit. I'm actually seeing blue skies. It's obviously not warm. It's not as cold as it has been for the last two or three days. I want to go work from a cafe. I want to finish editing my vlog for this week so that I'm not like chasing my tail the way I was last week, Sunday. I only managed to get up just before midnight and I really don't want to be doing that this week. So I'm trying to get it all prepped and ready so that I can have a weekend and enjoy myself, see friends and not be worrying about the vlog going up on Sunday. Let's get out of the house. <coughs> like Gen Z pants. Okay. They're I like that you experimenting hanging because very I'm loose. like oh, I <laughs> Can I go back? I don't know that I can pull this off. Yeah. But then I'm just trying it. Yeah. And it's hoping nice for the try. best and kind of just like to is feel, it something that works for me or not? Because the other thing that I was like the the leopard print me and blue pants. Mm. It's like is it's oh, one of those like can I pull it off? Can I do it? And you just have to decide that you're willing to commit to it. Yeah. Or because sometimes it's just about committing. You're like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. You need that to pull it off, otherwise yeah. it doesn't work. Especially with clothes. You need a certain level of audacity. Which I think the whole of Gen Z has. They do. Although they are just things. repurposing our our they fashion, really do. So and like, then they shit on us <laughs> and then they like and you like don't be dumb. Don't because you dare. do the exact same thing. Also shave your eyebrows. That's why are ballet flats. Those are, pumps. Those are pumps. Sweetie pumps. I'm not going back to pumps. Mm. 
Do you know what? I did it. I bought the silver ones. I have one pair. The silver ones are cute, but I feel like I like them on other people. There's certain trends I'm like, gorgeous, Good fantastic, for you. love it on you, but on me, no. Yeah. It's one of those things, it's the same thing as the leopard print pants. Yeah. You have to just be like, okay, cool. I'm going to do it. Mm. I'm going to commit to it. I'm committing now. And I'm just going to, if it works for me, great. If not, it's just like a blip in. Sometimes it must just be delusional. Be like, I look so good in this, and then that's, that's what just... I do to myself all the time. Yeah. <laughs> come to the conclusion that this color is amazing on me. What is this? 11? That's 11. Olive. Green. Green. Olive. Olive is more sophisticated, eh? Mmm. This is the olive, which I like the look of the olive. Light brown. Is this also in the 11? Yes. That looks very nice. That is pretty cool. These are very cool. Very, very cool. Take you back to my youth. 
show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best belief, the other ring of my wrist is gold. Pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my skin and bone, I'm remembering the words you told me. up my face and I think it looks really good looking in this camera I feel like I need more bronzer but it is what it is also the difference that a wave makes some texturizing spray dry shampoo <laughs> hairspray <laughs> is amazing <laughs> I've opted for the black Hannah Lavery knit with my country road boots which I am Newly obsessed with. Every time I wear them, I get more and more obsessed with them. I need to make sure my bra strap doesn't show while I'm wearing this because I absolutely hate that. I feel very comfy, warm. I think I do need to take a jacket though. No, I'm lying. I don't want to wear a jacket. What do you see back here? Because this lifts when I lift my arms. I haven't had my shot yet. Have you had your shot today? I have not. Doing fiery ginger. What shot do you want? I'm already doing mine. Oh. The immunity one is the most hectic one. I mean, it makes sense why it's the most hectic. Like, this is looking too... Yo! <laughs> this is like all of them in one. Yeah. Yeah! Just like hits you in the back of your throat, in your mouth, everything. Whiz! Mmm. <sighs> Don't ask me why I'm taking such a big bag. I just like it. Hey,
excited to be home. Zuni burgers are so good. Thanks for your husband. Coke zero for me. Yum. One Zuni cheeseburger. Another Zuni cheeseburger. I'm gonna start something new. I'm thinking about should like a little rum com or America's Sweethearts, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Or I could watch anyone but you. Rum com vibes. What shall I watch? Saturday morning, we're taking a little walk to our local for coffee and breakfast. I have a laptop so I can edit. It's nice and rainy, but also there's really a 100% chance of rain today. And here we are walking. Risky business. It's pea cold, like not Cape Town cold. Oh, look at that stunning blue view. Blue. I got a little lake behind it. How pretty are these houses? But the cock part is, it's so loud for them. Imagine that. Oops, oop. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's full raining, just my luck. Rain's on the way home. But learning to enjoy the moments, even if they're hectic. <laughs> I haven't read them all. I've read them all. I mean. They laughed on Ilton. Monica Heisey is one of her very, very good friends. So it's kind of It's quite good. Because it's really, really sad. It's about a couple who marry.
your face. Look. How stunning! And then you can flip it, and then it falls out. It's so cool. She's very stressed. It's very cool. Don't stress. What is it? You should. It's actually so nice because people don't really notice it. Like even you, you were like, "What is this?" No, thing? no, no. I didn't, I'm not. I'm not okay. What? Um, what is it? It's Where's a it DJI Osmo Pocket Three. But then you have to sit and edit for a long time. Well, it depends on how you want to edit. I take a long time this to edit because I like the process. That's your whole thing. Exactly. Okay. I need just, like. Like, well, you can. You have to learn how to do it. But it's not a hard skill. You can. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> Yo, for the people that don't live in South Africa, this box might make you a little bit sad. We also both <laughs> just ate. Well, this one is currently eating. These cinnamon sugar donuts are incredible, but we also both just ate. You had a half moon and two kusistas, not kusistas, two samosas, a mince and a chicken samosa <gasps> on a Sunday. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> but also, don't worry, these boxes aren't for both of us. We don't have like a box each. We've taken to giving boxes to our friends on a Sunday after church. Those samosas are good. Okay, I want the other mince and mousse and you can have the half of me. Cool, thanks. What's that, Michelle? Why are you ruining my shot? <laughs> what? This is such a random chat for this vlog because it's all like fun things and city and whatever else, but I just wanted to actually mention this because I haven't seen anyone talk about it and I feel like it's necessary if you're someone that works in social media or you're trying to build up a following or you're pushing really hard at creating content and instead of gaining followers, you're like losing followers. I wanted to talk a little bit about this. I did two 30 day outfit series earlier this year. The first one, I gained over 60K new followers on Instagram. I went from 23.4 to over 80K. And then I did a second series and then it, that pushed me over 100K, which is just absolutely wild. Like I feel like you don't really hear of those things happening as much nowadays. On TikTok, yes. On Instagram, not really. Unless it's like following coming over from TikTok onto Instagram, like someone that's kind of blown up. And I feel like I haven't seen many people in South Africa jump that much so i was really surprised and excited and just a little bit overwhelmed but mostly excited i think it was like march or did i do my last series in april i don't know but we're now in august and i have subsequently lost a thousand followers since my last 30 day series i've kind of been grappling with the feelings but to be honest with you i actually haven't had strong negative feelings about it there was like a week period where I think that was actually to do with my cycle if I'm being honest with you but I was very critical and I would constantly be checking my following and like how much it went down and like waiting for it to go from 111k to 110k when you look at those numbers like a thousand followers isn't a lot it isn't and in my mind I also see it as those are the people that don't necessarily know that I create content other than fashion they may be signed on to only see outfit videos and I'm now posting the way I would usually post. Obviously during the 30 day series it was very fashion heavy and now I'm posting my normal content. So that's just the overflow. The people that weren't gonna stick around, that don't enjoy our own personality, that don't wanna see what I'm posting and that's perfectly fine. But the point that I wanted to make is this is why it's so important to know your why behind your what, your why behind creating content, your why behind starting a business, your why behind studying this. Whatever you can associate it with, it's really important to figure out your why because it will push you through the seasons where it's hard. And this is not a hard season. I think it's just when you come from like a high of so many people being excited and lots of new faces and 
tons of comments and tons of views and then you kind of steady out to a normal pace and a normal view count and then suddenly you feel like you're not really succeeding i had a period of time where i was feeling that way and i don't know how i've gotten from there to here but i'm just like i don't feel strongly about the fact that i've lost a thousand followers and i think because my why is so strong I want to create content for women. I want to empower women. I want to encourage. I want to share fashion, beauty, lifestyle. I, I want to be connected with my audience rather than just posting only outfits. I think my why is strong, so I don't feel like I'm wavering during a rocky season. Even though that doesn't feel rocky to me because I always want to have these different platforms. I want to have YouTube and share long form content and share my thoughts around things like this that I would never share on Instagram or on TikTok for that matter. If I could separate these different platforms, TikTok is kind of raw. It's what I used to post on my stories on Instagram that I now post on TikTok. Let's not talk about the fact that I haven't really posted on TikTok in a week. And then Instagram is for the more curated, beautiful content. The lighting is perfect and you've really thought out your caption. On TikTok, I'm not really thinking about the caption. YouTube to me is about long form connecting, really sharing my life and sharing who I am. Like I feel most comfortable on YouTube. And then the podcast, would be discussing topics. So it's like having great conversations, getting to know other people and sharing who they are with my audience and their audience and a new audience, hopefully. Like delving deep, asking great questions, having great conversation because for these vlogs, I'm talking, but there's no like back and forth. It's not a conversation, it's a monologue. That's what the podcast would serve because I really do love having great conversations and asking questions and I don't really get to show that anyway. And I have such wonderful conversations with people in the industry and even just friends that I think are so worth sharing because there's so much gold that comes out of those conversations. And if you're not in a circle where you're privy to that kind of like wholesome conversation that's actually helpful or investing in you as a business owner or a woman or a mother or a child three person or whatever category you fit in, then it can be really hard to not have that positive input and I really want the podcast to be in that space. So those are the different categories. I've not included Facebook because I'm not interested in Facebook. I know everyone is doing a sub stack now. I just, I don't want to be writing anymore. I'm not going to lie to you. I have subscribed to a couple of sub stacks and not read any of them. So that is a clear indication that I'm not going to write any of them. If I'm not willing to read them, I'm not going to write them. I'm also not even reading books. I'm in a book club and I've not, since I've joined the book club, I've not read any books. That's not good. It's not good, I really need to start. But I feel like these vlogs are taking up all of my time to edit and make sure that they are, they're not perfect, but they're good on like my terms. I need to feel like they're up to a certain standard. And I so appreciate you guys for actually seeing the effort that goes into the videos and noticing the edit and noticing little things that I have taken the time to put into the vlogs because they bring me joy. I love that they bring you joy as well. And that just shows that you're my people. You guys are my people. It's just something I was thinking about. And I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Subscribe if you haven't. I love seeing your comments down below. If you've made it to the end, you know what to write. I'm a real one. Just in case you're new and you haven't seen any of my other vlogs, letting you in on the little circle. The sun is setting, so I'm gonna go. But thank you for watching and always being here and supporting and it's just so wonderful. I love this platform. Okay, bye.